I'm going to reformat an SD card. It's not working anymore. And I'm going to use a USB SD card reader because there's not an SD card slot on the laptop. Formatting a SD card or flash drive or other kinds of drives can be done in Nautilus. This is the file manager that's default on Ubuntu. So just right click and format. The first option is whether you, you want it to just change what the SD card says is its format and not actually wipe any of the data or if you want to bit by bit replace everything with a zero. Um, and in the case where my SD card wasn't working, I'm actually gonna choose the slow method of rewriting everything back to zero because I wanna make sure that there's nothing corrupt. And the second thing that I need to do is make sure I've selected the right file system type. Now, the reason that there are different options is the SD card might be being used for different things. Say you're gonna put it in your camera and store pictures on it, or you're gonna actually load a file system and use it in a Raspberry Pi or something like that, like or a, a, use it as a computer uh, hard drive. Well, what we're doing is just putting it back to what it was, and that is a fat file system, which is most common for SD cards. Um, and then we can name it, which I just want to name it the same thing that it was named before, 64 gigabytes. I like to put the amount of storage in the name so that I don't have to check the card. And with that, I will hit format. I expect this to take a while because it's a 64 gigabyte SD card. Um, and of course, I should note that all your data will be lost uh, if you choose to overwrite it um, and do a, a full wipe. Um, whereas the quick option will only change some meta information in the SD card. So you may be surprised whenever you start the format process that there's no indication of the progress and when is it going to finish? Is there even anything happening? Well, on Ubuntu, if you search for disks, it will open this program that will show your main hard drive and also a little spinning progress indicator under our SD card. And it even shows the job and the progress bar with it. So this is very, helpful to see and give some confirmation that the computer is actually doing something. So so why is it that you would need to format an SD card? Well, things can get corrupted if you don't treat the SD card right, and they can be picky, but basically it's like this. If the SD card is currently being written to from the computer, a tra file transfer is going on, and you pull that thing out, well, nothing's been finalized. The computer was mid-process and it may not have finished writing the file it was currently doing and it could leave things in a un unstabilized state, sort of in between. And that could ultimately cause the card to be corrupted. And the way that you can make sure that that doesn't happen is by unmounting the SD card. Now, when you click on the button to unmount the SD card and a window pops up and says, this device is currently in use, that's good because it means the operating system stopped you from doing something dangerous. And then you just know you either need to cancel that ongoing process and let the operating system finish it safely or just wait until the file transfer completes before unmounting. Now, it's easy to get impatient as you're watching this progress bar creep across the screen, but hold on, look at that. It's already got 24 gigabytes done in, what, maybe 10 minutes that I've been standing here, and you can see the write speed is almost 30 
million bytes per second, which if you think about it is actually incredibly crazy fast. However, the SD card is 64 gigabytes and it's a pretty big SD card and will probably take about half an hour for this whole job to complete. So after about half an hour it finished, the file system is a FAT32 type and we'll go ahead and mount this. I'm gonna close out of the disks window and see what's on here. Nothing. So to test it, we'll copy a couple gigabytes of contents on here and see if it completes correctly. So to unmount any file system, you can just click the eject button here. You can also right click on it and press eject, but it's easy just to click that button. Now you're safe to pull it out without damaging it. Well, as a conclusion, I brought some pictures from the phone onto the SD card and everything copied just splendidly. So I'm happy to see that this card is back in service. Thanks for watching.